Here's a question from Jennifer Mercier. Hi, Sam. There are so many ways to achieve long layers throughout the back. What is the simplest way for you? Jennifer, you're absolutely right. There are so many ways to achieve long layers in the back. Here's one really simple way that works for me. I want you to remember one thing. Wherever you want weight or length, you pull away from. So we're talking about this back area here. So what I'm gonna suggest you do is take just a slight diagonal section forward and start in the front because that's gonna be the shortest area. Then you continue to take parallel sections to that, bringing everything up to that same guideline. Everything stays stationary to a guideline, so I over direct and elevate to the same point. Now watch what happens in the back. As you come to the back, I'm gonna suggest you divide that back down the center. So I divide the back down the center. Now watch what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, and let's say my last length is just at or below the occipital. That's that last section. Lift this up, okay, and then everything comes forward to this stationary guide. See, I'm taking everything up. Now let's take a look at the length. Look how long I'm able to leave the back with some consistent layering. So it's all about pulling away from where you want that. Now watch this. If I say I want it shorter, then maybe I might move my hand to this position here. And now look how less distance is traveling to the cutting position. The longer you want it, the more forward you go towards the front. That is the simplest way that I've discovered to create longer layers through the back. And as you said, Jennifer, there's many ways that you can do it. Try this way, you're gonna love it. Thanks for the question.